All right. Hey, okay. So we're going to do extra practice problems. So these are extra, extra practice problems from part two of my fractions review series. So what are we going to do? We're going to do these different multiplication and division problems. You can pause the video if you want to read them over. We're also going to do some of these more basic addition and subtraction problems. So again, you can pause if you want to read those over. So this video specifically continues extra practice exercises that accompany a review video on this topic. So if you want to see a review of how to do these problems at a slower pace, I suggest that you check the description for a link to the review video. By the way, you can get a free PDF version of these problems with an answer key at divideandconquermath.com. Just go to the review section. Okay, so let's get into the multiplication and division problems. Okay, so starting with this first one, so remember we just multiply straight across. And right now I'm not gonna worry about having to simplify anything. So four times three is 12, five times five is 25, and that's it for that one. Now, for this next one, I have five times three over four. I have to remember that five has is technically over this invisible one. So I can rewrite my problem like this, and then five times three is 15, and four times one is four. For the next one, 10 over 11 times five over seven. Again, it's the same thing. This will be 50 over 77. And now we're moving into problems with mixed numbers. Now, when you have a mixed number, you wanna get in the habit of converting it into a improper fraction. So for this first one, so I'm gonna take four times four plus three. Now remember, you tack on the negative at the end. We ignore the negative for now to do this. So this is gonna be 16 plus three equals 19. And that's gonna be the numerator. So this will be negative 19 over four times three over seven. Okay, and so now I can multiply these together. Uh, 19 times three is, this will be negative 57, and then in the bottom, this will be 28. And so that's it for that one. Okay, so moving on to E. So once again, I have to convert both of these to improper fractions. So I have five times three plus two. So that's gonna be 15 plus two. So this first fraction will be 17 over three. And the second one will have six times two plus one. So that's 12 plus one. So my second fraction will become uh, 13 over two. And so this is what I can multiply together. So 17 times uh, 13, so that comes out to 221, and then three times two is six. So now we're gonna pivot to division. So I've got five, six divided by seven over 11. So I can rewrite that as five over six, and then I turn it into a multiplication problem. So I flip the second fraction, or I multiply by the reciprocal. Now five times 11 is 55 and six times seven is 42. So this is 55 over 42. Okay, so for the next one, so the thing to remember is you have to flip the second fraction. So for this four, I'm just gonna treat this four as a four over one. And then instead of dividing by two fifths, I'm gonna multiply by five halves so that this becomes 20 over two. And 20 over two can simplify to 10. So this is just gonna be 10. So now for H, so remember, this seven is technically over an invisible one, and I always flip the second fraction. So this seven over one now will become one over seven, and now I can multiply straight across to get five over 42. Okay, so now for this next one, I've got a mixed fraction again, or I'm uh, sorry, a mixed number. So for this one, so I'm gonna take two times three plus one, so that's gonna be seven. So I can rewrite this as seven over three divided by five over seven, and so that's gonna be seven over three times seven over five. So that's seven over five. And so this will be equal 49 over 15, and so we can just leave it like that. So for the next one, so let's see, this will be three times four plus one, so that's gonna equal 13. So I can rewrite this now as 13 over four divided by two fifths, which I'll rewrite as 13 over four times five over two. Uh, 13 times five is going to be equal to 65, and four times two is equal to eight. So for our next series, so we're just going to work on adding and subtracting. 
And so just recall that we want to be in the habit when working with fraction operations to always convert mixed numbers into improper fractions. So starting with a here, so a is nice and straightforward because we have a common denominator and no mixed numbers. So I'm just going to take 4 minus 1 and this is just going to be 3 on top and then the denominator just comes along for the ride. So moving on to the next one, so I need to convert this number here into an improper fraction. So I have 3 times 2 plus 1, that's going to equal 7. So this is going to be 7 over 2 minus 3 over 2. That equals 4 over 2 and so then this will just equal 2. So now I have two mixed numbers here, so I've got to um, convert both of these. So let's see, this will be 6 times 3 plus 1, so that equals 19. And then for this other one, so this will be 7 times 3 plus 2, so that's 21 plus 2, so that equals 23. So these two fractions become 19 over 3 minus 23 over 3, 19 minus 23 is negative 4, so this is negative 4 thirds when all is said and done. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So again, I'm going to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So I'm going to take 2 times 5 plus 2, so that's going to equal 12. So I can rewrite this as 12 over 5 plus 3 over 5, and now I can see that this is going to come out to 15 over 5, which will equal 3. And for the last one, so now I've got two mixed numbers here, so let's see. For this first one, so this is going to be 7 times 7 plus 1, so that's going to be 49 plus 1, so that equals 50. And for this other one, so let's see, I'm going to take 2 times 7 plus 3, so that's 14 plus 3 equals 17. So I can rewrite this now as 50 over 7 minus 17 over 7. And that is going to equal 33 over 7. And so that brings us to the end of this set of exercises. So as a friendly reminder, my fraction series has three different parts to it. And so if you hate fractions, I strongly recommend that you check out the whole series. And hopefully this will rebuild your foundation and make you not hate fractions quite as much. I'd love to know if it helped you. So all of this is available for free each video comes with a review and then extra practice exercises like what we have in this video. My review series also has many other topics in it, not just fractions. So each topic includes a refresher video like the companion video to this one and then the practice problems with the answer key and the extra video with the worked out solutions. So that's how every topic works in my review series. So all of these are available for, for free at divideandconquermath.com. Just go to the review section and you can find everything. If you found this helpful, pretty please like this video, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button or tell your friends, and I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye!